especially while streaming ASMR. Hello, 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 hello. Hi. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. a little hot because I have a laptop, not a PC. So it's like right in front of me. Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> it has been a while, hasn't it? I do Anya. sounds might be a little bit muffled. 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 Yes, that is the word. Okay. Everyone's here for ASMR. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Been playing Identity 5. That is such a lovely game. I think this is the kind where it's like okay to multitask there we go the tracking works with ASMR yeah because I figured out a way to be able to use my Live 2D and do the ASMR thing without my computer You're the one teaching me to ready for some extra confidence. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Maybe I'll continue playing it. Feel free to multitask. Yes, but with perfect idea to do ASMR at 6 a.m. I mean some people might might go to sleep after this. I have a few friends who are like night owls and go to sleep around this time. It might be perfect for them. It's like them for me. <laughs> In the middle of the day, unless it's like 10 p.m. It's just a prime time. 5 a.m. here I get. Hello. Let me scroll back a little bit and greet you all. Hello, T. Hi, Kat. Hi, Bezo. Hi, Van. Hi, Ryoka. Uh, hi, Baban. Hi, Ron. Hello, hello. Thank you for the redeem. Hi, Silver. I, I don't know if I greeted you. Hi, Erikizero san. Kind of want to sleep now. Go sleep. You probably had a long day. Go sleep. It is comfy time. I remember when Maki was around on my ASMR streams, he always fell asleep too. ASMR to help me sleep at work. Good. <laughs> good, 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 good. Who needs work when they're safe? I'm the kind of person who listens to ASMR all day. If I'm stressed, I just whip out something from YouTube or something. It will be like that. Sometimes all you need is ASMR to be able to relax. But yeah, this is a good opportunity to talk, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Thank you very much for the follow. I'll say, I'll say, I hope. 
responsibility for your missed homework. <laughs> I am just a cat after all. I do not take responsibility. Did I end up in heaven? No. You're still very much alive. You just ended up in the comfy zone. Welcome, welcome. It all sounds like heaven to me. <laughs> Might be, but you're still very much alive. I'm learning Greek. <gasps> Greek is lovely. Greek is lovely. I love learning languages too. Most language I was studying was Chinese, but I failed miserably. Because it was so difficult. I was learning Mandarin Chinese, but I can't remember many things. <laughs> How have you been? Um, sleepy. I woke up to my alarm, which is kind of rare. So that makes that means that I slept well. I speak Chinese not very good. Oh, you are so bog. You see, I'm European, so not many people speak Chinese here. So it's, a, it's a rare language to speak here, casually, I mean. Because some people who might need it for business purposes, of course, speak Chinese, but... You see, I've been studying Japanese at university, and we had to pick up a secondary language beside Japanese and I was able to choose between Chinese and Korean and I went with Chinese can't read or write and my understanding is limited even though I'm literally Chinese um well I guess if you live in another country that is not China, it's gonna be your secondary language. It, it's just hard to keep up with two languages daily, I think. Here in Hungary, people usually speak Hungarian and English mostly, but even English is rare because we are such a weird country where everyone just literally speaks Hungarian and that's it. Only people who like work at offices or or are like an office job that requires to like meet with uh, foreign clients. Those are the people who usually speak English and university students. Everyone above like 40 is like only Hungarian. Canada has two official languages, French and English, so every product has to have both French and English labels. It's a cool though. Wolf waifu. I'm a cat. I'm a cat blush. Let's try to sleep. Good night. Good night. This is the first time I've been called. I don't hate it though, but I'm a cat. <laughs> hello, Satsuna. Hello, hello. I love fluffy muffle, 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 muffle. Muffle, 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 muffle. Good wife. <laughs> I don't hate that, okay. I think 
our official language is just Hungarian. I, I can also speak German, but it's very, very baby German because I forgot a lot. Even though I have like a certificate, I, at some point in my life, I was able to speak intermediate German. Like I could actually hold up a conversation in German. But it has been so long. I forgot like half of it. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad. But I can read German though. So there's that. I have a certificate in English, German, Japanese I don't have a certificate of, but German and Japanese I can quite easily read it. I think my biggest problem is that I never actually had an opportunity to use them actively, except Japanese when I was in Japan. Because obviously no one speaks, I mean, very few people speak English there, so I was kind of forced to speak Japanese all the time. <laughs> to the disrespect I have to do, Araki. No. No, you are forgiven. You are forgiven. Writing my Chinese name. The voice thing because you can spell words in different ways. Oh, I cannot remember my Chinese name at all. I think I still have it written somewhere, but no, I can't remember it. But I think it was something along the lines of like beautiful flower or something it was it sounded kind of basic but it was perfect for our Chinese classes I always abuse my Japanese skill <laughs> good good oh I cannot read that I cannot read that is the first one May? Perhaps May? Something, something? I, I, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I would say that I am able to read Japanese kanji quite well, but I wouldn't be able to write them properly. Because <laughs> I forgot how to write, actually write down kanji. But... I wanted to start like practicing it. May as in May. <gasps> I got it. I, I got the first one. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Hi JC. Hello JC. Hope if I get a Chinese name one day, it'll even sound like tax evasion on a top car gas. Oh, you like this. Written down kanji is something that needs to be done daily. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. When I was studying Japanese at university, we had like these weekly kanji tests. And I remember that I had like a, a completely empty textbook, which I filled with kanji completely from head to toe. And it was kind of relaxing practicing kanji like I might be, I might just go back to that. It's just that I actually lost my kanji textbook, so I probably have to buy it again. Which is gonna be expensive. I think my name in Chinese means charmed one. Oh, I like that tea. To give in Chinese work, I have to write the characters too. <laughs> He got status ailment charmed. <laughs> That's so cute. It reminds me of Fate Grand Order. Mofu asked, do you about practicing hiragana, please? D, have you been doing your homework? <laughs> Stupid. 
but I don't have anything like Chinese name. You can always come up with one, with one for yourself, you know. You don't have to be at a class to get that. It's not like a class only privilege. You could always just come up with one for yourself. I kind of like feel now that I forgot my Chinese name, I feel like I'm disrespecting my my ex Chinese teacher who was super kind and super nice. I was about to fail my Chinese class like right before graduating university. And she was like uh, this is my last term here because I'm moving to the UK, so I'm gonna like let everyone pass. And that is how I passed my Chinese class. <laughs> Jenna, when you got your name, your last name is the first one, so if you last name is I know Richard and your name is Rose, it would be Richard Rose. <laughs> heard about funky Chinese names before. If I mute, it means that I'm coughing. I'm sorry. A pass is a pass. Yeah, it really is. I was like, I will take it. I'm not gonna complain. I do have a nickname in local language when translated to English, my nickname is Demonic <laughs> That says a lot about you, doesn't it? Dang, you guys have your Chinese names <laughs> I think it's cute I think it's cute I think it's very funny when uh, and they have like a Chinese English teacher and they also have no idea about English names and the whole class gets like English names in like such a weird manner like apple, banana and something although I found it cute hi Fushi meow 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 What well, really pisses me off when they mispronounce Shanghai The words have stomach gunning It's Javanese Oh We are learning many things today Here in Hungary, we have a lot of like English names translated into Hungarian. Like, not even translated, but like modified a little bit so it will be a little bit easier to pronounce. So, for example, uh, we have Gergu, which is like something similar to George. It's pronounced like Shai, Shenhai, Shenhai. Oh, it's as if the cat from the campus woke me up while I was taking a nap. The meow to ask for food. And you do that in your routine. <laughs> I might be begging for food. Who knows? It is like before my breakfast time. My mom just rang me. Oh, why did she do that? Is she okay? I was very careful and like put all the phones on silent before the stream start because when my mom's bestie calls, she I calls at like 6 a.m. too because not my mother and, and she cannot sleep either she forgot the time difference I mean you were up so there's that I'm gonna switch to the other ear <coughs> hello the 
pop guy redeem sounds extremely good right now. Free pop cat. <laughs> also, I was surprised that my 3DO's battery didn't completely run out, but I still had to like change it. That is the reason that I had to delay the stream because my battery was dead, but it wasn't completely dead. I was actually surprised that it lasted so long. I was only awake for mobile purposes. Oh, that is so sweet of you. But I think you're gonna go to sleep after this, right? Knowing you, you're nocturnal, so you're gonna sleep after this, probably. Then read the original text, so I was like, you eat cat food. <laughs> Please do not consume cat food as a human. Unless I was, I bring cat food to campus. <laughs> He like does a thing where he just whispers to all the campus cats We used to have cats um, We didn't have like a campus per se But at the university building we used to have a lot of stray cats And whenever we had a little time we just went and sat outside in the sun And just played around with the university cats Sleep a little, then have breakfast, and insert hiragonite tea with violence. <laughs> you really did wake up and chose violence today, didn't you? Hey, Fast. Meow. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Lord Brock, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I have all of the alerts on silent. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome everyone. To big stereotype the Chinese dogs and cats, it really is. I think only just a small amount of people in the whole world do that. Out of like, uh, traditional purposes. It's usually not in big cities, yes. Usually these people don't really have anything else to eat anyway. So it's it's very, very um, judgmental. Although it's like a very bad thing, but they literally have nothing else to eat. I don't need to summon the cat from them to come. They already know where I am at. Yeah, you're very, very famous of being a Disney prince. <laughs> I think I caught one of the Caroli cats one time when out drinking. Yes. Horevitskipan, what a Korevitskipan. Atalaban. What cat do I don't miss? Feel like a Kimfter Kurni again. It's only a very special place. But yeah, we still have a lot of cats around because that neighborhood. And the main city was like very very densely populated so the strays usually is not like escaped but they didn't have really have like owners so they just went around and looked for people to feed them randomly they probably had a great time because there were so many people around because of the university they were loved very much because whenever people had a little time, they always stop them to pet them. Those mango, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. It's fun to wake up really early and look out a window or back and watch people go about their day. I actually love to do that a lot. Uh, it's just that I don't have a balcony, so I usually just go on like a very early walk. And just look at the whole town waking up. It's very lovely. Except the times when there's like a traffic jam at the end of our street. <laughs> because that is not fun. I'm not familiar with which building is which, but our 
tour group was hanging around there and there was suddenly a cat and I was quite drunk so I ran and grabbed it Szerintem az a Dózsa György utolná edet A városliget közelében még több cica van szerintem Én akár mint érem voltam A Miss on Norwegian Forest Cat once and I think It was the love at first sight when I saw a majestic wild being You'd see they are They are so lovely Like They are different from Minkos and Persian cats Uh So my cat, Felix, the white one, is actually a Turkish Angora mix. And he has like this half long fur. But Norwegian forest cats have like this very, very soft fur. And it's not that thick. They are just so cute and so lovely. I have two friends who actually have them. This was almost 20 years ago. I cannot remember the last time I was at my university. I think I was passing by when I was going to meet Frankie in Vienna. So I was actually boarding the subway on that station. I'm gonna go do my homework. Good, good. Erai, erai. Erai, erai. Rai, rai. Rai, rai. My life goal is to meet a Somali. Those are very rare in Hungary. I don't know about the UK. I think the UK has a lot of different breeds than us. Because there are not... I mean, there are quite a lot of breeds in Hungary as well. But they are very, very expensive. I've seen this picture of two Norwegian forest cats We were on a chase And the chased cat looked nervous Like really nervous <laughs> Perhaps it was a fight It wasn't a friendly chase Perhaps it was a fight Who knows You guys want me to whip out the ear pick Like I usually did Hello, Aki. You're my model. Yes. Enjoy your lurk, Aki. It's good to see you. You guys want me to whip out the air pack? Like I usually did. Yes, please. Generally against cat breeding in general, but I do hope I get to see a Somali before operating is banned. Um, you see, it's such a, such a, a lucrative thing to do. I don't think they will ever ban cat breeding and dog breeding and just animal breeding in general. It's it's not good. Like I think at the very beginning it was not a bad thing, but to this point I think we are just destroying the gene pool of some breeds. My mom who speaks in Hungarian somehow it feels calming. Again igen. Szereted a magyarul beszélek? Lehet azért, mert ez az anyanyelvem. It's probably because it's my mother language, so I'm more confident and it feels more natural when I speak in Hungarian. Because I've been speaking English for, I think, almost 20 years now. And... I don't know. I still I still didn't achieve the perfect pronunciation in English. I don't understand anything which makes me an automated dum dum. <laughs> you can just fill in the gaps in your brain. You can imagine me saying anything. I didn't say anything really interesting. It's just that I feel more confident speaking Hungarian because it's my mother language. But also some redeems are still active. The ones that I can fulfill like this. Because if I would like stretch, that would make a lot of noise. 
that would make a lot of noise if I would just stretch I do a yeah. meow 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 <laughs> that's a lot of meows meow 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 those are a lot of meows yeah the big brains hold on I can I cannot wear my tongue like this because it would be very very loud try on the same brain cell also, I have noise cancelling on and it might just cancel out the smaller noises I think I know what you meant, you want me to imitate the small noise the cats make was a good one. Thank you, I tried my best for you. <laughs> Indeed a good one. <laughs> I'm happy to entertain. I miss my cats. I am your cat now. How are your cats doing, cat? How are them kitties doing? I am your replacement cat until you meet them again. Mine are sleeping. That rascal buddy. Wake me up. Woke me up at like 3 a.m. again. Because they always demand food around that time. And I was like, oh my god, I am so sleepy. So I had to wake up and feed. And he's very, very loud. When he's demanding food, he won't hesitate to wake up the entire family yelling. As much as I want to own cats, my mom prefers tacos, not that I mind though. That is so frustrating. That is so frustrating. Whenever you move out, Fushi, I hope you will be able to own a After the man for contraby was not letting my mom do anything he had to be picked up and hugged all the time. That is Putty. Yes, that is my cat. 100%. It turns into a big, big baby. And will demand for me to pick him up and just carry him around. Like the big fetus he is. Just take care of the stray cats that drop by my garage, garage to chill. That's so nice of you. I don't think we have any strays in the neighborhood right now. We used to have a big, big, big black, black stray cat. Like, it was basically the void. I don't have any pets. My apartment doesn't allow them. That is so bad. Not even like the smaller ones, like not the conventional ones like cats and dogs and rabbits. Not even rabbits. I would usually just have like hamsters or a guinea pig, if anything. Or just, do you know the small marimos in the aquariums that you can have? Like the small moss, moss box. I love those. I've seen a dopper, dopper man getting along with her owner. I smiled when I saw that. Don't want to get close though. I know how aggressive dopper man goes to stranger. My general rule of thumb is if I meet a dog outside and they are not muzzled, it probably means that they they don't bite. If I really wanna approach them, I will just ask the owner if I'm allowed to pet them. If they say no, then I just move on. You can't go wrong with that. My mom also pointed out 
that all the cats she's seen we take care of so far are black cats and joked around it being unlucky because of it the thing is that, that black cats are lucky here so I'm just gonna say that you're lucky the fact that you have like strays attracted to you is already very lucky of you though so there's that but yeah we don't have a lot of strays right we just have the neighborhood cats like going on about their lives in our gardens. They just move around a lot. Whenever I saw black and white, I'm always reminded of chess board. <laughs> That's so cute though. Imagine playing chess on its big fat belly. I'm scared of the bark sound. It can come from a Doberman or a Chihuahua, doesn't matter. It can come from your phone speaker, I be there. That is valid, especially if it's very, very loud. I can want to play chess on top of them. Yeah, same brain cell. We are sharing the same brain cell. That would be so fun. But yeah, barking dogs are very scary. I'm, I'm not blaming you. Especially if they are up, up close to you. I've been a little bit apprehensive of dogs ever since my friends dog bit me. It wasn't anything serious, but it reminded me of, like, be more careful around dogs, I guess. Hey, Shadow. Bless my voice. Am I right as I'm about to sleep? Good. The last time I streamed ASMR was around Christmas. Yeah, it was almost half a year ago. That is why I said I'm actually surprised that my batteries lasted this long. Also, it was with my old model. Now I'm actually gonna have. ASMR that I can upload because it is very surprising but I noticed that people actually watch my wads on YouTube it's it's insane to think about people actually sit through all my wads fear of dogs barking thundering lightning the legs are normal things to get scared of is because they have been considered to be dangerous sign primarily for human. Yes. Exactly. Maybe Putty and Felix were using and charging it secretly. <laughs> On each other. Homework done. That was fast. You are very fast. You make content good content of course people what oh you are just biased thank you though i'm glad you think so you have these watts on yes i have a youtube channel hold on i wonder if this radio is gonna pick up the key There. I have a YouTube channel where I have like half of my watts saved, I think. The important ones. I have them all saved. You're free to check it out. I have my very early SMR there as well. It was so scuffed. More SMR was to listen to. Yes. Kirby Mofu after inhaling vending machine plushie. <laughs> God, I wish I could like make one as well. That would be so cute. Just so uh, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy them. I think I'm most most proud of my unpacking streams because it's it's probably 
probably the first game I actually finished on stream. It wasn't that long though. I mostly want Boyo's art of that like Kirby Mofu turned into a plushie. I really like square and cube shape. They are just so funky. Ah, oh, why am I coughing so hard? How does this sound? Hold on, I'm gonna check it myself. Actually, I'm gonna check it myself. There we go. Oh, the noise cancelling isn't cancelling out. It's not that loud though. Just talk to them. Maybe that also explains why I like horror things, despite how much of a scary cat I am. Square and cube shape is usually used to depict terror in movie game and any graphic. Presentation. That is so interesting to think about. Is it because we're so used to like humanoid shapes? The one thing that I'm most scared of in horror games and horror movies is body horror when anything looks like out of shape on a human. My brain just immediately recognizes it and I'm like, oh no, no, no. Oh no 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 no. I hate it. I hate it. It's so interesting to think about. It's probably because of the body horror aspect. Square is like the most unnatural shape that we could find in nature. Really? That is so interesting. I wouldn't think about it like that though. Mofu ASMR after a stressful few days here. Thanks Mofu. You're very welcome Fushi. I'm sorry you had such a stressful time. I hope you get to be a little bit more relaxed after this. Everyone seems to have very stressful days lately. I wonder why. It's just a stressful period for everyone. I'm actually having a quite okay period right now. I'm advancing with my work and I get to stream as well, so not that bad. You could easily find circle triangle and other shapes in nature. Square is not that common. Oh, that is so interesting. I'm gonna actually pay attention to that. This this information will probably live in my brain rent free after this stream. I have this, this movie that I really love, it's called Pi, not like in the food pie, but like the, the mathematical thing Pi. Uh, it's about how shapes are like always repeating in nature and how people use it to like 
break the stock market and stuff. It's a very, very, very interesting movie, I think. I was fascinated by it as a teenager. London when taking cinematographic cars. Oh. Thank you. That is a very, very interesting piece of information. As I said, it's probably gonna live in my brain rent free after this. Imagine 
you're just falling asleep and right as you were about to fall asleep Twitch just does this very loud ad definitely by Mofu's voice back if there's one I actually have a script that I got for my birthday for a voice back but so I didn't have the time to actually go through with it but I would like to do an ASMR voice back later on because I do actually have a script for one but I'm not gonna charge money for it they scare me <laughs> I'm so sorry if I got the guest of it which is the need to do even more ads so even even another another reason to like watch my vods on YouTube I guess because there there isn't gonna be any ads there or at least I'm not planning to like put ads on it but yeah I do have a script for ASMR voice back but I'm not gonna charge money for it I got told that I should consider like ASMR commissions like obviously safe for work ones I should probably consider like ASMR commissions but I have no idea how I should go with that how I should go through with it but it does sound like an interesting concept for like I don't know a few bucks I would do like 10 minutes of ASMR just for you. Situation your Mofu's cat. An even better situation, I'm your cat. <laughs> Wouldn't that be even better? Me just jumping off your shelf into your arms. Night Power, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy your stay. If you're my cat, I'm afraid you'll call my petting inadequate. Eh? How do I how do I pronounce it? Inadequate. Why? Why do you think so? <laughs> what about my cat form? The little ball form. Why would I think that it's inadequate? But yeah, um, the script was more about my birthday. But I think I could use it for like any general situation. No, not not even birthday. It was for my anniversary, I think. But I was too busy around that time, so I never actually recorded it. Also, it's kind of like hard to record ASMR. Because my neighborhood is so noisy. I feel like if you were a cat, I wouldn't get any work done because I keep petting you. Oh, that's the thing with cats. Mine just straight up jump on my table when I'm working. Just lay across my sin deck. My drawing tablet. Just remembering that short video you post on Twitter and it was on TikTok too, if my memory serves me well. I don't know, lately I've been posting a lot of stuff on TikTok because I'm using it as like a good excuse to take videos of my new model. <laughs> I'm just using it as an excuse to be goofy, I guess. But yeah, I do have a TikTok now. So if you have a TikTok and are interested in like silly goofy videos of me, Feel free to follow it. I don't, I don't have the link right now, but it 
should be in my about links here on Twitch. Or if you follow me on Twitter, you, you will probably find a link or two. TikTok has been very, very interesting because I remember when I started it as like a private account. I couldn't really get into it. I wasn't posting any content myself though, but I was just looking at stuff, you know. And couldn't really get into it. Even now when I'm as I'm like a creator over there. I'm just I, I guess I, I just throw my feed a little bit, but I'm like not obsessed. I have friends who are like super obsessed with TikTok. Which is understandable because I actually see see the the charm in it, I guess. But now as a creator, I'm having more fun uploading stuff myself. Also, there are stuff that I actually learned on TikTok firsthand. Like, not even on YouTube, but I had. This is just completely random information, but I never actually had an idea that they, there are paper wigs. Like, cosplayers actually make wigs out of paper. And they look incredible. They are so, so well done. Like, actually better than some other wigs. My opinion about TikTok is I don't understand any of this, but I'm happy that people seem to be enjoying themselves. There are some creators who are like super creative. With like camera angles or just straight up very, very funny. Also, I have a few creators from YouTube that I follow on Twitch and TikTok as well. Like, one of my all-time favorite YouTube creators is Charlotte Dobray. I don't know if you guys know her. She's like a funny person on YouTube. <laughs> but she also has a TikTok and I follow her there as well because I love her a lot and I just want to see the extra content. That's the thing. There, there's also the click who I love and follow on YouTube and Twitch. I've been, I've been following him on Twitch too because he's actually super funny and like recorded videos and live on Twitch too. And he has a TikTok as well. Some creators I simply follow because I am, I'm already a fan of their content from like YouTube. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna follow them everywhere on every single social media platform I'm gonna follow them <laughs> but yeah um, I guess it's fun the Hungarian side of TikTok is very very funny like we have this very special deprecating humor that we have as Hungarians and I think it's very very funny also the one unexpected thing that I didn't really take into consideration when I when I signed up to TikTok as a creator is that so TikTok does the thing where it advertises you to like your local area, right? So the first first area where TikTok actually put me into like the recommended pages on or like put me on people's um, feeds were the Hungarians and I'm not well known in Hungary at all, like basically like 10 people know me in Hungary <laughs> or something aside from like the the Hungarian people on my chat but it was insane people actually from Hungary found me on TikTok and they were like oh my god are you Hungarian we have Hungarian VTubers and I'm like They have LinkedIn. Would you follow them there too? I don't know many things about LinkedIn. I I think it's like a, a place where people post post like their professional like portfolios or something. But I've seen people post bullshit on LinkedIn as well. <laughs> the one. I know this 
really nothing about it's probably snapchat crystal <laughs> hi crystal thank you very much for the raid hi there hello hello crystal how are you darling welcome reader my name is Mofu, and I'm an illustrator turned into a cat plush VTuber. And I'm having my very first ASMR stream after like half a year. <laughs> whisper, whisper, whisper. How are you, Crystal? How was your stream? I hope you will be able to relax with me. Are you stream and crystal? But yeah, welcome readers. You're no model, yes. It is a me. I'm glad you're doing good. Thank you for the raid again. I'm gonna switch to this ear. Also, cheese a cakey comfy. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I have a 3DO, so I'm like switching ears to speak into. We were talking about obscure social media sites like LinkedIn. Because <laughs> I was like talking about my new TikTok and how I have like. Creators I follow on TikTok solely for the fact that um, I love their content on like YouTube, so I just go around and follow them everywhere. Hello, Madame. Are you a professional soap sounds maker? Professional might be a reach, but but I do make very comfy noises with my 3D microphone. Thank you very much for the follow, Leon. Summer troop, thank you very much. Also, meow, meow, meow. I'm just a little meow, meow. But yeah, my microphone might be a professional mic, but I am not a professional. I am a professional cat, though. Professional kitty. Big wait. It's Crystal. Can I get a shout out for Crystal, please? It is a big fat raid. Y'all get a free pop cat for this. Hi, the mice waffle. Hello, hello. Hi there. But yeah, TikTok is very fun. Crystal, you have a TikTok too. I binged all of your videos lately. <laughs> Me just following all the people that I know from my immediate circle. everyone I know and just watch all of their content because I love watching my friends and their big wees big Y double U the big win Crystal usually sings she has an incredible voice <gasps> oh you were you were singing that makes a lot of sense now. I love your voice, Crystal. You are very, very pock and very wig. <laughs> but yeah, um, TikTok is fun. I got like discovered by the Hungarian TikTokers, and I am just goofing off on my TikTok. But if you do have a TikTok and enjoy my stuff, feel free to follow. I was saying that I have no idea how often I'm gonna post, but I've 
been just posting every single day because like making videos for TikTok is so simple if you have the the program and stuff do it like I actually got like the heck of like recording stuff to TikTok also I'm calling myself out but that is the reason why I hacked up my OBS settings and my stream was so chunky because I actually modified like the resolution, the bit rate and the frame rate and I was like oh, oh no oh no oh no it's because I realized it so late and I already started my stream <laughs> that's the reason that some of my streams were so scuffed at the beginning but yeah the other platform I know nothing about is snapchat but to me it feels like snapchat is like I wouldn't say it's dead, but whichever stream, no, not stream, whichever platform I have no idea of, I consider it dead because if it's not reaching me in like terms of news and updates, I consider it dead. <laughs> Do people still use Snapchat? I wonder. I wonder. not good with making sounds with my mouth I should probably research like these oh you know mouth sound but not sexual <laughs> I need to be careful because I might accidentally make some very lewd sounds and I don't want that to happen anytime it would be very uncomfortable for some of you too some of you would be like, yo, but I'm not that kind of a streamer, so I need to be careful. The one thing I don't like about having like noise cancelling on is that I'm not able to do the very um, delicate sound I if you guys remember, I could do the thing where I just held my 3D against my chest and then you guys were able to like listen to my heartbeat and such. Also, my model is going insane. <laughs> the heat is rather fiery again today here. You could probably would see haze if I go out. Oh, that doesn't sound good. It is like 30 degrees Celsius in Hungary. I think it's the perfect, like, uh, traveling and hiking weather. It's just that I would go, I, I would go, like, traveling and hiking, but I don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> also, I need to work. So, the most I go out is for groceries and, like, uh, walking. I go on long walks. It's just that I go every single day, so I'm getting a little bit tired of my neighborhood. Tempted to turn on the AC right now, but thinking of electricity bills. So, um, we only have AC in our house for around like, I don't know, eight years or something. And before the AC, I usually did the thing where I have a fan, like an electric fan and I would direct it to the other side of the room and just put like a wet towel into my neck or something to just cool me off just be careful not to direct the fan at you when you have the wet towel on that is what I usually did I would just straight up walk around in like swimsuit because <laughs> it was so 
30 degrees Celsius with 81% humidity. Oh my god. That's not good. I remember when I was in Japan, we had like 32, 32 degrees, but English, 32, 33 degrees Celsius and like 100% humidity. It was almost like a tropical climate. <laughs> so I know quite well how that feels. Temperature and humidity here in Southeast Asia is pretty bad. So even if I have an electric fan, it's painfully hot. I think I can imagine. Because I've experienced like two full summers in Japan. But... Oh yeah, I didn't have an AC in my room. I only had like an electric fan. And mine was like the upper floor room as well. So the roof got pretty hot. The roof got overheated. And all the heat was radiating down on my room. On the second floor. No, first floor. First floor, yes. I always got so confused because in my brain, I would think that ground floor is the first floor and then the first floor is the second floor but yeah I didn't have an electric uh, I didn't even have an AC only just an electric fan in my room even at night because we only have the AC in like the living room in my Japanese home my humidity is enemy in summer especially in Tokyo where I was always in Tokyo But yeah, it was bad I remember when my friend went to work And I was staying a little bit more back at home before I went out I was always just sitting in the living room In my underwear Under the AC Because I was like, oh It would have been so funny if for some reason he would have just came back home <laughs> but yeah I guess the ground floor was pretty well like cold down thanks to the AC but the, but the first floor with my room inside was so bad walking around in occupying summer made me feel like Okabe from Steins Gate suffering. <laughs> Especially that there are some areas in Tokyo where there are like so many people. So it kind of just adds up to the suffering. And there are a lot of people. But at least the public transportation, they all always have AC turned on. Right now it's 34 degrees. Generally, this is the term. Here all season. Oh my goodness. That's painful. Here in Hungary, it's not humid, but it's like scorching hot. It's the opposite because the temperature usually goes up to sometimes 40 or even more degrees Celsius with like 0% humidity. So you're basically being burned alive outside. You need to be very, very careful your skin. Worst was a few days ago where the temperature hit 50. <gasps> oh my god. I think I remember that even in Hungary, we sometimes hit like 45 degrees or something. I'm pretty sure that we also have like the... I wonder what the highest temperature ever in Hungary was. I would research, but I would type on my keyboard and that would be so loud. I've yet to experience that barbecue metaphorical like Mofo did in Hungary. I don't know because if the humidity is high, you feel the you feel the temperature even higher I think. I'm going to bed. Good night, Basil. Thank you for the lurk and thank you for coming. Sleep well. I hope I sufficiently made you sleepy. So you're gonna have a great sleep. But yeah. I 
I don't know what's worse because high humidity means that you feel the temperature even hotter than usual also the like when it's humid the like water droplets usually just stick to your skin and then you get all sticky which is so gross especially when you're in like public transportation and people are just like I don't know sticking together it's apparently 40 40 no definitely not definitely not I remember that they were like weather reports where they said that we're gonna have like four, 45 degrees celsius will it be higher? I think even personally because we have like a thermometer in our garden I would say that the, the highest that we actually measured ourselves here in our garden is above 41 degrees and this isn't the hottest place that that can get in Hungary I think it's it's on the south because there are like very old pl plains in the south here in Hungary which usually is the hottest in summer usually it's insane it can get insane I don't know what's with the weather lately Oh, okay. That wasn't barbecue grilling. It's a whole roasting stick on stick session. Yeah, it kind of felt like that because I remember that I used to work at the at the office, right? And I had to travel all the way to Budapest, like the central Budapest. And traveling in that weather on like the packed public transportation where there is no AC is is insane. I remember that I actually had the wet towel in my neck outside on the street as well. Sometimes I just straight up put it on top of my head because my my poor scalp was scorching. My head was <laughs> it felt like it's gonna catch on fire. But okay. I think I'm gonna wrap up the stream now. And I have amazing news. I'm gonna rate someone who's also streaming ASMR so we are going to from ASMR to ASMR good work with the stream thank you for coming I hope everyone was able to sleep well um, like it will be able to sleep well but yeah we're going over to Hiroki U we rated them a few times already but they are streaming ASMR and it's, it's a perfect place for us to land in after my stream so from one ASMR to other ASMR thank you very much for coming and thank you Crystal for the raid again and I will see you guys Mesty and thank you very much for the follow I will see you guys soon I'm gonna post on Twitter I think but yeah Thank you very much. Be nice to them, okay? And I will see you guys soon. Bye bye.